Good morning. Good morning to you too. How you doing? Great. And you tell me all about your trip. Oregon is amazing. The coast, Crater Lake, Mountain Hood, it's unbelievable. But what's even crazier is what I learned while I was there. Did you know they ban love letters? What do you mean? Those are the letters that go along with our transactions okay. that our buyers put together yeah. to give the sell potential seller. Mm -hmm. They ban them. And now it's going to be going across the entire country. It's going to affect us here as well. No way. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. It's so hard for customers already as it is. We take away every little tool in the toolbox. I don't know. Oh, hey, Robert, how are you doing? Hey, Robert. You guys are looking flustered. What's going on? Oh, Lord. I just got back from Oregon where I found out they're banning love letters. Oh, man, I heard about those. That might not be a bad idea, you know? Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, federal law states that you cannot discriminate against the protected classes, and sometimes, inadvertently, someone may put something in a love letter, such as, hey, we're going to enjoy Chinese New Year in the big living room. Or, what about a basketball goal at the end of the driveway? And the person says, where my five kids can play basketball. And the neighborhood may not have any kids right now, so they may not want those kids in the neighborhood. So that would be a, fair, a violation of the Fair Housing Act. You're making a good point, son. I think it carries liabilities, right? You are absolutely right. If you want more information, go to nar.realtor and go to the Fair Housing section. We're done. That was amazing. <laughs> we are good. <laughs>